Hey G-Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for this episode, we have this cool, amazing product right here in my hand, if it's in sync. Basically what this is, is a milk floater that you can use to float your milk and then make it all foamy and stuff. So you can add it into either your coffee or matcha latte or whatever you guys want to use it for. But first thing first, let's actually open up the product to show you guys what it looks like and what comes out the package first. So when we first open the package itself, this is basically what it looks like inside, if it's in sync. Let's take everything out. The first thing we're going to see is actual product itself right here, which I'll take out and show you guys in a second. Next, we do see a little brush that you can use to clean off the actual product itself. Alright, so that's the little brush that they brought you that you can use to actually clean the product itself, if you guys can see. And next, you guys can see that here is the charging output. So this is where you plug it into the wall, and then this part right here is where you plug in the milk floater itself to power it up. And the last and final thing that we have in here is a little instruction card to teach you guys how to use it, and all the different functionality that's on the product itself right here. So that's basically everything that's in the packaging itself. Let's take a look at the actual product itself. So when we take it out, so this is basically what the product looks like. If you guys can see, they have the logo on the bottom right here. They do have the button right here to activate it and use the functionality and everything. On top part, you guys can see that they have a little lid right here that you can use to actually cover it up when you guys are blending or folding your actual milk itself. And then when we open up the lid right here, you can see that there's a uh, mixture right there. But they also have one in the bottom, which is pretty cool. So basically all you guys have to do is just pour in your milk in here and just cover it back up. And then choose whatever setting you guys want to use. So if you guys look really, really carefully right here, it tells you guys the different setting right here. So I believe once you guys uh, plug it into the actual charging dock right here, and then once you guys power it on, you guys can select each different mode to use based on how foamy you guys want the actual milk to be. So if you guys want it less foamy, more foamy, you guys can choose all of that setting uh, when you guys actually blend and everything. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Let me actually go try this out really quick to show you guys how well it works and how to actually use it. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so right here we have the product. You guys can see we have it all set up. So what you guys want to do first is open this part right here. And then you can see that there's two different parts right here for the mixer. So there's one right here and there's one inside. So the one on top right here, you guys actually want to take that off before using it. Because this is just a replacement just in case if the other one breaks or it goes bad. So what you guys want to do is rinse the actual product itself first. And then you guys can put it on to here to activate and start using it. So let me go rinse it first and we'll come back and try it. Alright, so we just finished rinsing it and everything for the actual product itself. So what you guys want to do now is just put it on top like this. It's in here that turns on. And all you guys have to do is just press this button right here to activate each different uh, mode. So that's like the high float mode, so it can create more foam. This is less foam. This is even less foam, so maybe no foam at all. So this mode right here is just basically to float it without like uh, warming up or whatever. Anyway, it's like one more time it turns off if you can see. So let's add in some milk and just float it up and see how it looks like. Alright, let's pour in the milk. Alright, so that should be good. So if you guys look really carefully inside right here, there's actually a line for like the minimum and the maximum line. So that's how you guys know how much to add. So right here is the maximum line you can see right there. And where the milk is right now, that is actually the minimum line. So let's close this back up. And then let's activate it and see how it works. So just to test it out, we're going to turn it on to the high float mode to see what happens. So this one right here. So once you guys press that, just leave it and actually we'll do it by self. If you can see, that's what the inside looks like. I will open it up to let you guys see the inside, but I don't want to spill anything outside. That's basically what's happening inside. So it's basically floating the milk right now to create kind of like the foam and everything and warm it up. It's super, super quiet if you guys can hear. So I would advise that if you guys do use the high foam or like the actual uh, high mode right here for more foam, to not add it to the maximum line and add it to the minimum line that you guys saw me add. So you can see it's almost to the top point of the actual uh, floater itself. You guys can definitely see like the steam coming out and everything and like the actual uh, foam starting to build inside, which is pretty awesome. All right, so once it's done, it's turned off by itself. You can hear that little beep and a little signal right here. So now we can open up and see what it looks like. So you can see this is the final product. Definitely, you guys can kind of see like the foam and everything. So I can see it looks really, really nice for the foam and everything. So all you guys want to do now is just pour it onto a cup with your matcha or your coffee or whatever. So let me just pour it onto a cup and show you guys what it actually looks like. All right, so I have my cup right here. Um, the actual product itself doesn't have any handles. You can just grab it from the side and pour it. It's not really hot. It's just, just warm to the point where it won't actually burn you or anything. So just have to grab it up like that and just pour it out like this. You can see all that foam that I created. Looks amazing. 
and I'm not even using like the whole milk this is only like 2% fat milk so it should be really easy to clean as well because it has like the non-stick coating so all you have to do is just rinse it and it actually comes off really easily but this is basically what it looks like here so I just add it onto a cup with nothing on here so if you guys want to you guys definitely can add it onto like a matcha drink a coffee drink and add that uh, top layer of the milk from to make it look amazing and actually taste amazing as well so let me actually go rinse this real quick to show you guys how easy it is to rinse it you can see that comes out really really easily because of the non-stick uh, layer and everything so you can basically just rinse it off but i would recommend using like a sponge to clean it off even better you can see all right welcome back guys so now that you guys saw the quick test of the product itself you guys can see it actually does work and it works quite well really easy to use if you guys can see it on the test you guys can change all the different settings so when i saw the top part here i thought this could be two mixers but this one is not a mixer this one's just a replacement that you can use to actually take off and replace it if anything goes wrong with the bottom one but now that we did a quick unboxing and testing on the product itself now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not so for me honestly i think this is actually pretty worth it if you guys want one or need one of these especially if you guys drink coffee or if you guys drink uh, matcha or anything that you just want to add some kind of like milk foam on top so you can have a better experience and kind of get that milky like taste in the morning uh, or whenever you guys want to drink your drink like a little latte then this is actually really really worth it but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have no use for one of these then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually you do need but other than that, that's pretty much it for a quick unboxing and testing of the product itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan shout out day we have.